Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, thank you all for having us today. Uh, I am going to be speaking about a company today that I don't even work there. I just love so much that I think everyone should know about it. And uh, with the, this Clay.com, how many people have heard of Clay.com before? OK, cool. So I might be preaching a little bit to the choir here. But the only thing that I want you to take from my presentation today is to just try Clay.com. And I'm going to give you some reasons that you should be trying it. But first, I think every presentation should start off with why you should be listening to me. Uh, so I am the largest Clay user on the platform. I know this number means really nothing, but uh, the engineering team confirmed that we're the largest Clay user on the platform by usage. Uh, this is an, a, like the integration company that we use between our email sending and our CRM. Verified that we've gotten leads uh, from, like people have positively booked meetings for my customers with our outbound agency from OpenAI, Apple, Bear, JLL, uh, Geico, Microsoft, Cisco, the tons of others. He couldn't even fit it into the graphic. Um, and then this is just me standing next to my little plaque that Instantly.ai gave us. That is a ascending platform that is a competitor to like sales often outreach. Um, we, they gave me a plaque because we generated 5,000 B2B sales opportunities in a year. That was only for them. They are my client and I generated 5,000 just for them. We actually use a different platform for ascending, which makes it a little bit tense sometimes. And then th this is our internal sheet where we generated 10,000 positive responses in, uh, over the past year for our customers as well too. And if you want to know how much Clay expertise we have, if you search how to use Clay.com, I know you can't see it, but my YouTube video is the first one up there. And then if you search Clay.com tutorial, it's Clay.com, and then it's my YouTube videos as well, too. So hopefully with that buy-in, you'll believe me that I could talk about Clay.com. And if you can't believe me, then there's donuts in the back. And you can just take a break. Uh, so what is Clay.com? They have on this website, go to market with unique data and the ability to act on it. Sounds beautiful. What really actually is it? It's just a spreadsheet connected to a bunch of integrations so that you could do your job a lot easier, right? If you download information from your CRM because you need to clean up the emails, you take that CSV and you got to upload it someplace else. You validate those emails and then you need to find more emails because the original provider didn't have everything. You take that CSV, you download it, you have to upload it to another place. Instead of all this download and upload stuff, Clay is just a tool that you have all of the integrations in one place and you can set up logic so that you'd be able to run it. What does this allow us to do? Just the normal things every person needs to do to clean up your CRM, to run outbound campaigns, whatever it might be. Cleaning up names, validating emails, enriching for emails, enriching somebody's LinkedIn profile, finding LinkedIn profiles, all of these things that can be done on the platform. We won't have time to jump into all of them, but I'll show places that we could go. My bias, obviously, after you, know, you heard our intro, I completely I forgot that I put in how many uh, emails we sent. So I'm a little bit of a professional spammer for some of those that, <laughs> that don't like it. But um, I definitely have a bias towards outbound email. So a lot of the examples you'll see from my presentation are for outbound email. But a lot of people are using it for their cold calling or if you're doing enterprise sales to send all of the data to the CRM so that the teams don't need to do the research and different things like that. And so they raised. Uh, $40 million at a $1.25 billion valuation. And so then I just want to talk about what's all that hype about. Really what they're trying to do is they're consolidating the data market. The same way that Zoom Info has been there and Apollo has been there. Instead of trusting one data provider to get all the data, they want to try to bring everything in. And one thing that I like to talk about, has anybody read the book Flip the Script by Orrin Claff? So in one part of the book, he talks about something he calls novelty chunking. Somebody was trying to sell him a refrigerator that had all these lasers and it had different cooling temperatures in one place, then it had even a little heater for your fruits and vegetables in another place, and it was all this crazy stuff. And he said, I don't want that. Just give me a normal refrigerator that's just a little nicer than what you could get on the market. And so what he called that was just plain vanilla with a twist. And that's why I like to simplify. Everybody sees clay, and it's this big technological thing and all these things. All it is is just a spreadsheet connected to other data providers. And I'm going to show you some examples of what you could do with your marketing with it. And so this, I, I apologize, I didn't know it would be a little bit small. But this is just an example of all of the integrations that you can use inside of Clay.com. So if there's any data provider that you like, they're up to over 100 integrations at this point. So if your favorite mobile number data provider is Lucia, they're on the platform. If it's Zoom Info, they're on the platform. If whatever email finder you want to use, it's all on the platform. So they have all of the integrations up here. So whatever workflow you're putting together, you could stitch it together in one place instead of swapping in between all of the other things. Uh, and now I'm just going to give some examples of some emails that we have actually sent to people because we can scrape their data and then we use AI to normalize everything. 
This, we sent this on behalf of a uh, Google reputation management company who they came to us and they said they sent 3,000 emails and they never got a single response. And they said, hey guys, this is probably like the easiest, like if, if this email doesn't work, just do not hire us because this is just like, this is the only thing you could say. Hey, I had a question about that negative review I saw on Google. This is blocking a little bit, but the one about ROG roofing doing substandard work that wouldn't pass inspection. We scraped their Google reviews to actually find a negative review up there. Great. Oh, substandard carpentry work that wouldn't pass inspection. So here, we're scraping their, their actual negative Google reviews, normalizing it with AI, and then putting it into the email, just straight injected into the copy. Is this having a negative impact of people walking to your business? We're helping companies like you remove reviews like this in under seven days, and you only pay when we successfully remove a review. And of course, then we have somebody positively responding, who I'm doxing their cell phone because I don't know how to use Canva. Um, and they said, can I choose the reviews that I removed? I don't want all the negative removes, just the unjust ones. I was like, okay, whatever one you think about that. <laughs> sure. And then here's another example. And again, this is in 15 minutes. I'm not going to convince you that you should all buy clay and all these things. But hopefully, I can uh, show you that you should at least try it. What's the next one? Uh-oh. Maybe it's this. Maybe. Cool, so now this was for a newsletter network that this email seems a little weird because you might be thinking there's no way that they actually could service these markets, but they actually can because they're a, a newsletter network of over 300 newsletters, so we could say this. Hey, Nicole, we operate America's second fastest growing newsletter network, engaging over 3 million subscribers who align pretty well with your ideal customer profile. And then we put in with AI their customer profile. We scrape their website, we normalize all the data, and then we turn it into a customer profile that looks like this every time. Personality traits, practical, solution-oriented, seeking efficiency, age range, 30 to 55, gender, gender neutral, income level, middle income level, education level, some college or higher. Then we AI generated this part too. Specifically, it looks like you're looking to connect with couples seeking an easier divorce process. I think we can help with that. Are you open to learning more? Hope to hear back from you soon. And then again, we're using AI to pull case studies straight off their website. Saw Gen B's feedback about how your team was responsive during a tough time. Uh, suggest you make a hard situation a bit smoother for many people. Could be something to talk about in the newsletter, right? All of those things just condensed from their website content, put straight into the email. And then finally, oh, this was really funny. This is actually an email we send for clay.com. And I thought it was funny because the response we got from this is, it really depends. See, can I get the same person that built your email tree in my setup? Because, uh, so this email, we're using this to break into enterprise accounts. And it, it, I would say, I like very much say this is a very long email. But we're finding that this is the best thing to break into enterprise accounts. We just got like Palo Alto Networks to respond just today um, off this email. And so we're saying, basically, I think you're using outbound tax to grow your company. I bet your team reaches out to fintech entrepreneurs, business owners, and regulatory compliance officers. Before they do that, do they do things like analyze the competitors' offerings in open finance? Do you track industry regulation and craft timely relevant outreach? Do you research the founder's social media to engage with personal insights on those marketing changes? And then we're basically saying that Clay can help them do all of those things. And then we'll get responses like this of people who, like, they're like, Eric, you got to go talk to this person because they want you to set it up for them. And so those are some of the crazy things that we've done for people in clay.com. It's kind of a, a difficult platform to learn. So we do have a, a document here that this is our internal guide. Whenever I bring on somebody new to my team, we teach them how to use the, the platform by using this internal guide. And I think we were so nice. Yes, we got a, uh, a QR code for this. And so in this uh, link, you're gonna see a QR code that goes to a document to teach you how to enrich a company for their web traffic, how to enrich companies for uh, who raised money, how to enrich companies for uh, what roles they have open and who's hiring for those roles, and then also just sourcing companies who are hiring for salespeople or whatever you'd like to do. And then I think we also have how to find local business owners with AI, uh, because you can't get them on LinkedIn, so we use AI to manipulate the website to see who the local business owner is. And all of those, not only do I teach you how to do it in this document, there's literally a copy and paste. You can take my clay tables and just put them into your account, and you could use them straight there as well, too. And then if you'd like to learn any more, I also have a YouTube channel that I'm too lazy to put thumbnails on. And if you'd like to also see all of our tutorials on this, there's a QR code for our YouTube channel as well, too. And so thanks for having me today. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you.